Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Wednesday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we're talking about Thursday flipping investments because we want to get this type of video out early so you guys can be watching prices today, tonight, into the rewards time period on Thursday to possibly make some decisions at what could happen and some investments that we could be making some coins on into this week. I wanna talk about all the possibilities for again, maybe a loading screen to come out today on Wednesday. I think that's slim. I feel like that would more come out on Thursday. Talk about some rise in the market we've already seen, the potential team of the week today, and um, just some areas that we can look out for a possible market rise because Black Friday, the promotion, record breakers, out of packs, best of the team of the weeks, out of packs. We are past those things on the market right now. We are kind of just in a place where um, we're in like limbo mode. The market is decently high. People have coins. We are confident in this market. And that makes me think it's going to go up again pretty well this week at rewards. I do think you are going to see a lot of people go out and buy ca cards for their teams. Now, some stuff is still stayed up since the weekend league or some stuff has already rebounded since Sunday night, but there are still a lot of cards out there, in my opinion, that could be good buys. Of course, depending on today's team of the week as well, that makes a difference. And a couple other factors I want to talk about here to start off the beginning, what could potentially impact what cards go up today with the uh, rewards investing time period. So again, Let's take a look at a team league prediction. This is from Foothead. We've got a Griezmann, Coman, De Bruyne, Romagnoli, and um, Rafinha, I would say, is like the headliners in this team league prediction, of course. Once the actual team league comes out at 6 p.m. today, we will know. I do think Griezmann gets in. I think De Bruyne could get in. Possibly Mares. We'll talk about that. Coman is one that will most likely get in as well. We've already seen a lot of investing for links to this card. Um as he's gone up uh, or has made some other cards go up. But again, you see a couple French left wings in here, right? French, a right back as a possible uh, card in this team of the week. What I'm going to talk about a lot today is French cards because of Alessandrini, because of a lot of the objective and SBC cards that we have had in the past couple of weeks. You know, Mukiele's right back card from Rule Breakers. Uh, French is, is key, right? French is so, so big in this game. Um, even th with the right back, another right back objective, or was it flash SPC or objective? Yeah, the League One Premier League player that we have, League One League player that we have in objectives right now. So a lot of stuff we're going to look at is French, but maybe some links to some of these cards could be good this week. Again, Romagnoli, a lot of people are investing in that record breakers, Donnarumma. I'm going to talk today about how I think those record breaker cards could do this Thursday at rewards as well. And then this is one other thing to keep in mind, player of the month for La Liga. Joao Felix is most likely going to win. His card is going to most likely go to an 87 rated item because it is a double upgrade. Now we were talking about this in the Twitch chat tonight. Uh, we were kind of deciding, would he go to an 86 or would he actually go into an 87? It's actually seeming like he might go to an 87 rated card. So we go to an 86 with a normal upgrade and then a double upgrade would take him to an 87. This card with the player of the month upgrade to an 87. Five star skills, four star weak foot, a lot of hype as a you know young star in the game. Atletico um, playing pretty well recently. Gets a, a lot of good links to guys like Carrasco, the Marcus Urente card that we have had recently. Um, and then even like if you want to position change into CDM or center mid, he gets links to guys like Jimenez, Rule Breaker. Uh, this card with a plus three is going to look incredible. And this card also with a plus three as a player of the month item is not going to be cheap. So I'm watching this Inform card because at 130K, this guy was at 150s, 160s uh, on the weekend with Black Friday with the hype. And of course, when Player of the Month voting came out, he did drop. Now, if this guy, if Player of the Month comes out before rewards, I think that's going to keep, the Player of the Month looming is going to keep this Inform price kind of in check a little bit. I don't think that Player of the Month SBC is going to be anywhere near less than 400 or 500,000 coins. And just with the, the state of SBC fodder and SBC cards on the market right now, it's not going to be a cheap SBC. So definitely keep your eyes on this gold card. I do think it could be rebounding if EA makes the SBC too expensive, which I feel like there's a high percentage chance of that happening. Now, again, that SBC is probably going to come out in the next couple of days. I don't know exactly when it would be. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe even Friday. We shall see what will happen with that. But that's just kind of something on our radar that I wanted to talk about as well. Let's talk about some specific investments, though, and where I'm looking this week. Now, of course, when we look at the out-of-packs golds or the out-of-packs um, informs, the out-of-packs special cards, that's where everybody likes to look 
for Thursday flipping. They like to look at a lot of those cards, some of the meta golds, um, but a lot of people like to invest in informs and, and uh, rule breakers and out of packs cards like record breakers even. Now those are very good investments and I think there's a lot of cards out there that you can buy as investments this week. But what I'm noticing right now is, you know, some of the gold cards that are on this game, Joe Gomez, 68,000 coins. He was like 65K earlier today. Some of the gold cards are up a little bit, right? Rashford's up about 10K. Mendy's up 5,000 coins. I think people are buying Mendy because they're seeing Coman and Griezmann in Team of Week predictions. And uh, they're thinking, hey, there's some green links right there. But that's kind of the same thing why people are also buying the um, goalkeeper Donnarumma card as well. Donnarumma is 86,000 coins. The guy is literally up 15,000 coins from where he was on Sunday night. Uh, your Inform Llorente is 189. He is up. Maxman's up 30K. So a lot of cards are already inflated. A lot of the out-of-packs Informs, and we scroll through here, Lozano, right? 148 right now. He was 133 earlier today on Tuesday. With no content on Tuesday, more and more people started to buy these cards up. Does this mean there's no opportunity to buy? No, that's false. There is definitely an opportunity to still buy some of these cards. I'm a huge fan of Ollie Watkins. Cheap, Premier League striker, English. Um, and he's in a lot of people's price ranges, right? A lot of people, you have to remember, got the game for the first time on Black Friday, right? 63K was this guy's lowest. He dipped there twice yesterday. He's right now 68, 69,000 coins. If you see this in the mid 60s, that's a buy in my opinion. He was up at 75K on the weekend, even selling at 80,000 coins. So um, all, all budgets are great this weekend, all budgets, all ranges, and I do really like the French cards. Now, not just French out-of-pack specials, like you know, a Benzema might not even be that bad of a shout this week with all the French links. He's been around 70K, right now he's at 72. It looks like he doesn't rise, but you know what? Um, I, I feel like there's a decent chance in here if you can snag one in under 70,000 coins, on the PlayStation and maybe in like the low 70s on the Xbox, that that could be a decent buy for you at rewards. Um, and just looking around the rest of the market, couple things that I'm looking at this team of the week that I might steer clear from would be left wings, right? Coman, Griezmann coming in. Coman will be decently popular and decently common from red picks. Not that common, uh, but I think people might want to try him out. So I might stay away from guys like, you know, a Hyunmin son. I could see rising up a decent amount, but other French left wings like maybe Martial's gold card. If you were if you were looking at that, sorry, not Martial. Um, I don't know who I was thinking of. Dembele. I would maybe stay a little bit away from him. He's pretty low tier anyway. Um, but I would I would stick to think about all these French cards that we've had lately, right? Right mid Alessandrini, maybe left mid left wing Griezmann and Coman. You know we've had right backs. Cards that are going to link all those types together are going to be midfielders. So I'm looking at Paul Pugba as a good investment this week in like the 140,000 coin range on the PlayStation. If he does get there, low 140s. He was there earlier this week. He's kind of risen since yesterday. He was at 140 mids all day, kind of rose above 150. If we get any sort of content today on Wednesday that could make the gold market drop, whether it is pack supply, because we did not get UEFA marquee matchups today. Um, we didn't get any of that. We didn't get anything else really for content except an untradeable pack SBC. So if we get anything tradable today, one thing to watch out for might be a, a Paul Pugba uh, gold card. Uh, of course, with a chemistry style like a shadow would be perfect in this scenario because I do feel like a card like this would rise up a decent amount. What was he last weekend? Uh, I think he was in like the 150, 150 high range. You know, it, it's hard to see now. He was 140 at his lowest on, on Monday morning, Sunday night. So... Low to mid 140s for Paul Pugba on the PlayStation and like one in the one teens, like 115 on the Xbox would be a really good price for that Paul Pugba. Um, and honestly, I feel like a lot of people might not buy golds this week because they want to focus on informs and stuff like that. Martial is somebody who I like as a gold this week. I like Rashford as a gold this week, even though he's a left wing. Yes, maybe the, the Coman or the Griezmann could hurt his price a little bit. I like Joe Gomez a lot at 68,000 coins. And then as you look through some of these other gold cards, Aubameyang, 110K, he's up a little bit. Um, I still like some of them. I really do. Why not all of them? Linking to possible... Um, even cards that could be in team of the group stage, if you're going to be holding this and buying your team going into the weekend, you know, we might have a Diogo Jota that will be in, in team of the group stage. That's something to think about. This Ramos card like literally rises every single week for rewards. He went from 68 out of packs to 84 down to 77. And right now he's back at, at 79 or 80. 
So this is probably a card that I would look at being interest, interested in this week as well. Uh, with the Real Madrid links, a lot of people like to use Gold Ramos. Um, and then as we look to more out of packs cards, which we do, we look at often. Uh, think about the Brazilian links as well. We have a lot of Brazilian links going on with, you know, Talisca, Oscar, Alex Teixeira has come out recently. Now we have this Rodrigo objective card that people have been working on and they've been grinding this week with the four-star weak foot. So Brazilian, French this week. Just look at some of the out-of-packs cards um, from those nas nationalities that are that are, that are are very hyped um, that also may be a bit still cheap, right? Firmino's 199,000 coins right now on the market. Uh, he really hasn't risen up that much. And this is a very rare in form, right? He, he did dip to 186. That was a low. But for most of the day today, he's been around, you know, 195 to 205. So a nice little 10K swing. You, ca you catch him at 190 on either console and you're chilling for a nice little Thursday flip. I think that's a card that could do pretty well. Even a guy like Partey is up 10K right now. He was 135 in the middle of the day on PlayStation yesterday. Um, you could probably snag that guy at 140. It's a meta Premier League inform that is a midfielder that people need to buy to link together some of these new cards they may be getting. I like that card a lot. Teo Hernandez is inflated. Be careful with that one. St. Maximin with two new left wings coming. He may not, may not rise as much uh, just because of the, a lot of the left wings that are coming out. This Bruno card is 381 right now. I'm getting interested in this because... He was 400k today. He was 400 on the weekend, and his 89 rated inform continues to go higher, 660k for that card. So I'm kind of watching this Bruno again. Um, I don't think we're getting a Cavani in this week's team of the week because he is not added into the game. But I'm really watching this Bruno inform because he is very rare. Look, 382, and there's like no supply at all on the market for this card. People are bidding 378. Is they probably think they can sell this over 400. I'm a big fan of this card today. I know we're getting a KDB, uh, but GGMU, Manchester United links, and then the, the uh, Portuguese links as well for, again, a possible link to maybe a Diogo Jota or maybe even a Rashford team of the group stage because I do think that team of the group stage promo is coming this weekend uh, on this game, but I think we'll have a nice market rise before we get to that point. Uh, other rule breaker cards that are just fluctuating a lot. This Llorente, or this Laporte card, not Llorente, uh, fluctuates a lot between like 560, 570 and down into the 520 or 530 range. Um, he gets really rare as well. French links could be a really, really good card for Thursday flips this week. Uh, Teixeira as a hero card. This guy was around 200,000 coins over that on the weekend. If you can snag him at 190, that'd be great. Um, even some icons as well. Some of the icons have dropped off a decent amount since Weekend League is finished, right? This Butragueño was um, over like 1.1 mil multiple times this weekend. He's down at like 1.05, some today. Uh, watch the, watch these icons though. Icons will do great if you want to buy it for your team. French icons. Makalele was like 780 last week. He went to almost 900K. If this guy gets close to 800,000 coins on the PlayStation, uh, that's a huge buy. Again, use Footbin, right? Use Footbin for a lot of these cards. Do a little bit of research and you'll be able to find some trends and you know um, some cards that you may be able to pick up at a cheap price on a fluctuation that could rise. So I do like the French cards a lot. I like the Brazilians. Out of pack specials, I always like them. But don't be too scared of the meta gold cards. Don't be too scared of the meta golds because I do think there's a possibility that they go up as well just because some people are scared to invest in golds because uh, because of their pack supply. Let's talk about record breakers because we haven't talked about them yet. Jamie Vardy, 530,000 coins. This guy's up 100K from where he was on Sunday night. Now, these cards are rare. They are very rare. Van Dyke, Vardy, all of these cards are very rare, and a lot of their prices have gone up considerably in the most recent future or the most recent past because these guys are very rare. Now, what happens at rewards, right? I think with more coins coming onto the game, at rewards time, people want to use these brand new, good, cool, um, you know, the fresh new items in FIFA Ultimate Team. I think it's possible that guys like Mbappe, Mbappe is actually kind of low right now. He's 3.0 mil. This guy was at 3.3 on the weekend, uh, and he's down at 3.008 or 3.1 mil at the moment. Uh, I think this guy could go back to 3.2, 3.3 this weekend. I think there's pro events that are coming out this weekend as well. That might influence this card's price. Just keep an eye on that. David Silva is 145. He's up. Sancho is 320. Now, I have heard some people ask me if they think Sancho could go to 350 this weekend. I think it's very possible that a guy like John and Sancho 
goes to 350,000 coins. How much supply do we have at 350? When he's 320 right now, we have one, two, three, four. How many pages do we have here for Sancho? This is a really good way to check the supply and figure out how much demand there could be. So we have 10, 11 pages. All right, we have a decent amount of pages. 12 pages of Sancho to at 350. Uh, and, you know, that's a pretty nice rise. If you're buying him at 320 or low 320s and you're going to sell him at 350, uh, he's actually not low 320s. That must have been an undercut on Footbin. But 329, I think these cards continue to go higher. Sancho, Vardy, you know, Oscar maybe a little bit with the Brazilian links, uh, all the, the cards that are out right now. Uh, I do think there is some overinvesting that is happening uh, at the moment. Oscar possibly, I think that Donnarumma card is a bit overinvested just because, I mean, a goalkeeper that is up this much in the Serie A, I don't really understand the hype on this guy being up so much. I feel like it's just a link investment to the team of the week. So just be careful with this. Uh, I know it is rare again, but still. And then one card I also do want to shout for a possible overinvestment is Carrasco. His team of the week card that came out last week up 10,000 coins at the moment. And I really think this guy's being overinvested in because of the links to player of the month, Joao Felix. So that could be a card that you want to be very careful with this week. A lot of cards that have bounced crazily high already because of content that could be coming out, whether it's an inform in the new team of the week that people want to link invest to, or a player of the month, Joao Felix, that has not come out yet. Just be very, very careful with some of these cards that have risen so much into the hype. But again, it's a normal week of Thursday flipping in the fact that we think the market's going to rise. So buy meta, buy popular. If there's any panic selling until into the 6 p.m. time frame today, I would say watch the market in terms of if you don't see any panic selling and if you don't see any content, I would expect the stuff to rise up into the night on Wednesday, at least for the first one or two hours after the content drop, you might see some prices start to rise up as people again, try to buy those Thursday flips. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of panic in the, uh, in the morning today on Wednesday. For whatever reason, people like to sell cards before 6 p.m. I don't think we'll see a loading screen today. I don't. I think it would come on um, Thursday. That's when it came last year. EA likes to repeat themselves year over year. So that is possible. I guess we could see one today. That might cause a little bit of panic um, for the team, the group stage promo that should be coming this weekend. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind, boys. But I do think we'll see a nice market rise because people have coins and they're going to want to buy cards and, and do stuff with those cards. Now, one last thing I will mention is Road to the Finals really fast. Um, this guy like Zakaria, just do a little bit of research, right? Do a little bit of research and, and kind of, I guess, weigh your options. Zakaria is down. Uh, Gladbach, of course, is on the edge of getting into the next round of Champions League. Hazard is down. Group B and Group H are the groups to watch in terms of which road to the final cards are going to be fluctuating. 729 again for Hazard. He went from 720 to 760. Now he's back at 720. This guy's going to fluctuate around a lot. He's probably going to be really good to trade with as people maybe buy him to invest because they think Real Madrid next week are going to go through in the last match week. And then he will get upgraded or, you know, people will be panic selling off because, of course, Real Madrid are not looking so hot right now. They're sitting um, tied for second and third, which they're actually sitting in third, but they should be in second. Technically, because they or no, they're in third because Shakhtar beat them twice. So Real Madrid really have to win against uh, Gladbach to get in. So Group B is like it's crazy. So that this is the fun part about these road to the finals that their prices are going all over the place. We have more games today. Be careful with some of those RTTFs. Um, most of the ones that played on Tuesday actually ended up dropping a little bit. Zakaria went down. They lost. Proma has lost. They're down about the same price, uh, right around 200,000 coins. Hazard is down a lot. Tyson is up because of the game they had. Atalanta is up again, of course, because of the group situation there. Davies is down. Klosterman's the same. So just keep an eye on those cards. And next week is the real big week for a lot of that stuff with the price movements and fluctuations. But definitely watch this Hazard because I do think he's very rare. He's gonna fluctuate a lot. He's Real Madrid. Now, of course, with Griezmann today, might affect his cards price a little bit as well, but just keep an eye on these cards because they're gonna move around a lot. They're gonna be great to trade with. So if that helped you at all, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate to the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.